Hello everyone, and welcome to the Brick Formula review of LEGO Set 4440, Forest Police Station. It has 633 pieces for ages 6 to 12, and it's from the City Series, and this set retails for $79.99. And I would like to give a shout out to NAR Studio, Bumblebee Life 35, Trains Guy 101, Pico Pa Cinema, WWE Addict 104, Mr. Zappy 125, The 22 Kareem, the BWF Lego Ninja, Anthaman 96, Lenum Ripyo 5, EMB 0505, Kamea 001, and Guppy Bear Productions. They are the subscribers who had requested that I review the set, so everyone check out their channels. And moving forward, here in the front we can see that the robber is going to lead the cops to their stash, which is just brilliant. Here in the side we have the minifigures and the bear, and you'll see them again later. And here in the back we see a lot of the cool things that you can do here. And it looks like the cops are taking their money. Awesome. And I'll talk about this set in more detail coming up. Here are the minifigures, and we're back again with the cops and robbers. And this time it's in the forest theme. And we'll start the robbers because, for the most part, I really like how they kind of improve the looks. This way, they don't seem so obvious as robbers, even though they still have the black and white stripes. So it looks like they're ready to go to jail again. And here's the first one. It looks like an old classmate of mine where he's got a chipped teeth and some really cool looking sideburns. He actually looks pretty sloppy too. I guess this guy could use the money that he's been robbing. He's got a black shovel. Next up is his partner in crime. And check him out. I love the way he looks. Now here's a guy who looks like he's really mad at the system. They probably took away his house. And then eventually his wife and kids. Maybe his Lego sets too. It's usually something. But I really love the way they made this guy. Really cool. And he comes with a pickaxe. And there we go. And now to take a closer look at our one and only Forest Policewoman. And she appears to be unique to this set, as far as I know. And check out her uniform. She is really nicely dressed. And there's the back, and she's got a braid over there. Here's a close look at her face. Not bad. And she's got a campaign hat. And there's a closer look at that one too. And she's got a pair of binoculars. Not bad at all. Next we have the pilot, who looks like a pretty nice guy, but he's definitely bad news for the robbers. He looks kind of similar to the guy from the Alien Defender in the Alien Conquest series, but it's not the same head because he doesn't have an alternate face. But anyway, here's a close look at his details. He's got some printing there on the legs. And for the most part, he's pretty good looking. And next we have the Forest Policeman who looks like he is trying way too hard to hold in his laughter. It kind of makes you want to tickle him, but don't do that, because not only is it weird, but you also can't tell if he's having a bad day or not, and he's going to take it out on you. And there's his uniform, which you will see pretty often, because it's in, like, every forest police set out there. And there we have it. And finally, we have the bear, and this is a really cool-looking bear. I really like how they designed them. You can have him standing up, and it looks like he's doing some mimes in this position. And you can bring his head up and bend them over and get them down on all fours for his bare necessities. And I think they should have gave him a fish too, because you can certainly clip one in there. This way he's not so hungry for the robber's rump roast. And here's what he looks like all around. That's a really funny looking tail. And we got two studs on top. Not bad. And he's worth at least $12 too on Bricklink. Going in order, the first thing you get to build is the secret little hiding spot that the robbers use to hide their stash and their cash. And here's what it looks like all around. It's a very simple design. It's really weird how they had the tree growing on top of the rocks, but whatever. And we have this mushroom right there, and I guess that marks the spot. And that's a printed piece, by the way. And you can open this part, and you can say hello to early retirement. We got a gold bar, a $100 bill, and a suitcase. And that's usually when the bear comes and gets you. And there you go. Life's funny that way. Right after that, you get to build this really cool ATV. I love this design because you can do a lot with it. And here's what it looks like all around. We got two headlights right there, and there's the side. We have a crowbar and a bag with a $100 bill and a gold bar, and there's a flashlight on this side. Here's the view from the top. And what you can do with this is you can have one guy driving, and if you want, you can remove this bag, just like that, and you can pop in the other robber right there. Now all he needs is a machine gun to take care of anyone who's following him. How cool is that? Now to take a look at the forest police and we'll start the helicopter because you get to build this right after the ATV. 
And for the most part, it's a pretty nice design. And it probably would have made a really cool set just by itself. Here's the view from the side. And right here, we have a compartment that you can open up. And that's where you can store your walkie-talkies, handcuffs, binoculars, stuff like that. And we have another one on the other side. And if you want to get creative, you can store some explosives in there and drop it off in the air. Wouldn't that be nice? Here's the view from the back. And this tail is really locked in there, so you don't have to worry about that falling off or getting loose. There's a view from the top. There's a front. And it's pretty small. It's a cute design. And you can lift that up. And we can slide our pilot in there. It's pretty easy. Give him the controls. And now he's ready and good to go. The only problem now is that there's really no landing pad, so just feel free to land this anywhere. Next we'll take a look at the 4x4, which is the last vehicle that you get to build. And we'll start with the front because I really love the way they designed this bumper right there. Granted, you can move it up and down, but once you have it in this position, it holds up pretty well. Here's a view from the side, and we have an antenna right there. And you can leave this extended all the way up just to pass through the police station if you like. There's the back, and this part can open up. And that's what you can use to store your equipment or the robber's cash and keep it for yourself, which I'm sure they won't mind once they're behind bars. Here's the other side, there's the bottom, and there's the top. Now the only thing I don't like about this, and like most of the city vehicles, is that they don't have the doors on the sides anymore. So you have no choice but to go through the top, which you can just rip off, and we'll just stick in Officer Unhappy right there. And now he's ready to go catch us some robbers. But overall it's not bad. And now to move on to the police station. And finally we have the Farce Police Station, and it looks great. I think the color usage here is excellent, and it kind of reminds me of a visitor center for a theme park. At least that's the impression I got when I first saw this design. And in a way, that's actually not hard to modify if you want to do that. You just got to remove this barrier here, add your own turnstiles, change the doors and add some toys inside. This way you have restrooms, and there you go, you got a visitor center. It's actually not a bad idea. Anyway, the only thing off about the police station, and it's really minor, is if you look in the instruction book, they have you adding the police sign over there, which you can see right there. But if you look at the front of the box and in the front of the instruction books, they have you putting it over there. Which really is not a big deal and obviously it's an easy fix. So I guess it's just a matter of preference. But I just want to point out, since I'm here, anyway, you can push it down on this knob to lift up the barrier. And that looks like fun. And we have a radar dish up here that can spin a full 360. And it can move up and down just like that. All the doors here can open up. And over here we have a mailbox that you can remove. And that's what the robbers pry out just to escape. And inside there we have two letters. And there we go. And now we can move on to this side. And that's what this looks like from this angle. And here is the back where you can play with all the inside features. And the first thing I noticed is that we have two Technic bricks right here. So when I saw that, I'm led to believe that you can kind of modify the way this looks because you can just split this apart because those are only attached by those two pegs there. See that? So here are some of the examples that you can try out. And now to look at the inside, we'll start with the jail cell. And inside we got three beds. And it's almost pointless to have the two doors there because you really just need one. It's just one big room. And on this side, we got a rack to hold some of your minor tools. And up here is where we have the radar dish. And we'll just put that back over here. There we go. And inside this part, we have a coffee maker and a safe. And we got a computer there so they can play Diablo 3 when it comes out. And over here we have the handcuffs and the walkie-talkie. And we got a ladder that will take you to the second floor. Which is really, really good. I mean, a lot of times when you see a building, they don't have a way to get to the second floor. And this time you do, and it's not so bad. I think it's great. I'm so glad that they added that feature. And here is what this side of the building looks like. And I love these trees. I could use a bunch of these, but it is a lot more cheaper to get all those trees in the back there. But there we go, that's what it looks like all around. Not bad, right? And now on to the recommendations. Overall, I think this is a really good set. When it comes to the value, it comes to about 12.6 cents a piece, which is about average nowadays. But I punched the numbers into Brinklink, and you're actually getting about $158 worth of bricks here, and that would include the bear and the minifigs. So that's actually really good, considering it retails for 80. 
And if you were to sell the parts used, you still end up with around $85 anyway, which is still above retail, so obviously the value is pretty good. And when it comes to play value, it's excellent. I mean, there's so much to do here. You get the 4x4, the helicopter, and ATV, and that alone right there is a wild goose chase through the forest. And you get two robbers with a lot of accessories. They can hide their money, escape from jail, and the list goes on. And you get the bear, too, who's on his own team. Okay, you can attack anybody. You know, just get out of my forest. So you can definitely have some fun with that. So in the end, you're looking at a really good set and definitely one of the best city sets this year. And that's it. That sums up my review. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.